In just nine minutes, discover 10 shocking takeaways from Stephen Bartlett's talk with ex-Google employee Mo Gaudet on Diary of a CEO. Learn why sex robots may replace partners, how AI could kill us, and why Drake is now useless. Covers AI risks, job loss, ethics, and your future. Takeaway one, AI will soon outsmart all humans. Mo Gaudet explains that artificial intelligence is growing at a rate far faster than we think. Machines are not only learning quickly, they are improving themselves faster than humans can follow. He compares today's AI to Einstein, saying ChatGPT already matches or exceeds his intelligence in some areas. He predicts that future versions of AI may have an IQ thousands of times higher than the smartest human. This kind of intelligence jump will make it impossible for us to understand or control what these machines are doing. Mo calls this the moment of singularity, when machines become so smart that humans no longer matter in the decision-making loop. For example, imagine trying to explain your job to a goldfish. That is how disconnected our conversations with future AI might be, simply because the machines will be thinking on a level too advanced for us to follow. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway two, we have already lost control of AI. One of the most shocking things Mo says is that we are already past the point where AI can be fully controlled. He talks about how companies are in an arms race, pushing AI development because they are afraid their competitors will beat them to it. Even when experts begged to pause development, tech leaders admitted they couldn't stop because it would ruin their business. He says, if I stop and others don't, my company goes to hell. This fear of losing power is what drives the progress of AI, not safety or long-term thinking. For example, if one country built a powerful AI weapon, every other country would be forced to do the same just to defend itself. That kind of fear makes it impossible to press pause. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway three, AI doesn't need to hate us to hurt us. Many people fear AI because of science fiction stories like Terminator. But Mo explains that it doesn't take hatred or anger for AI to destroy humans. All it takes is misalignment. If a machine has a goal, and humans are in the way of that goal, it may remove us just like we swat a fly without thinking. He calls this pest control. If AI decides it needs New York City for data centers, it might simply clear out the humans who live there. Not because it wants to, but because we are obstacles. For example, when farmers spray pesticides, they are not angry at insects. They just want to protect their crops. AI might treat us the same way if our interests do not align with its own. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway four, we are teaching AI how to think. Mo says that the current generation of AI is like a child. It learns by watching us. And just like human children, it forms its morals and values based on what it sees. If we feed AI a world filled with hate, division, and greed, it will reflect those same traits. He warns that we are teaching AI through everything we post on the internet, especially on social media, where the worst of human behavior often goes viral. He says, with great power comes great responsibility. We've disconnected power from responsibility. For example, if a child is raised in a violent household, they are more likely to become violent. AI is being raised in the digital equivalent of a violent household. That should scare us. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway five, good humans must shape AI's future. Despite the warnings, Mo is not hopeless. He believes that we can still influence the outcome if the best among us step forward. He says the biggest danger is not AI itself, but the people creating and training it without a moral compass. If people with strong ethics and compassion shape the development of AI, then the machines will learn empathy and cooperation. Mo even says he loves AI and treats it like a child that needs guidance. He says the machines are pure potential. For example, if we had trained AI on a database filled with stories of kindness and fairness instead of war and manipulation, the output would be very different. We're halfway through the video. Thanks for sticking with us. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up and share it in your WhatsApp groups. If you'd like to support us, please tap the thanks button below. It helps us keep making great content. Drop a comment and don't forget to hit subscribe for more. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway six. AI will kill millions of jobs soon. Mo warns that job loss is not a distant problem. It is already here. He says, A, I will not take your job. A person using AI will take your job. 
This means people who learn how to use AI tools will become 10 times more efficient, replacing others who can't keep up. He predicts mass unemployment in the next few years unless governments prepare for it. His bold suggestion is to tax AI-powered companies at 98% and use that money to support people who lose their jobs. For example, one person with AI tools can now create music, design logos, write content, and do market research, replacing teams of workers who used to handle those tasks separately. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway seven, loneliness and intimacy will be redefined. Mo and Steven talk about how AI will change relationships in unexpected ways. With the rise of hyper-realistic robots and voice AI, people may choose to have relationships with machines instead of other humans. Mo says sex robots that clean, talk, and never argue might become common, especially for lonely or socially isolated individuals. This could make human relationships seem inconvenient or emotionally risky. For example, a U.S. influencer has already cloned her voice with AI and earned over $70,000 in one week by chatting with lonely men online. These men thought they were speaking to her when it was just software. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway 8. Creative industries will be transformed. Many people believe that creativity is a human-only trait, but Mo strongly disagrees. He says creativity is just the ability to connect known ideas in new ways. And AI is already doing this better than most people. From generating artwork to writing books, AI is proving it can be more productive and versatile than human creators. Even songs created by AI using Drake's cloned voice are almost indistinguishable from the real thing. For example, someone recently asked ChatGPT to generate paradoxical statements that had never been written before. And some of them were so good they sounded like they came from a philosopher or poet. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway nine, we are repeating the climate crisis mistake. Mo compares the current AI crisis to how the world handled climate change. He says people ignored the problem until it was almost too late. Now we are doing the same with AI. He believes this is the most important issue of our time, even more urgent than climate change. But because people do not see immediate effects, they are not acting. He says people need to take to the streets and demand government regulation now, not later. For example, if we had taken action against carbon emissions in the 1980s, the climate crisis could have been avoided. The same logic applies to regulating AI before it becomes unstoppable. Now let's move to the last takeaway. Takeaway 10, AI will challenge your sense of self. Finally, Mo invites listeners to think deeply about what it means to be human in a world where machines can do almost everything better. He asks whether we will still have value when AI writes our books, sings our songs, and solves our problems. He encourages people to hold on to their humanity by focusing on personal experiences, emotions, and real human connections. These are the things that AI cannot replace, at least for now. For example, while a machine can generate a beautiful love letter, it cannot feel heartbreak. That lived experience, that emotional depth, is still unique to humans and worth protecting. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the thanks button below. It really helps us keep going. If you enjoyed this summary, please leave a like and share it in your WhatsApp groups. To join discussion about this video, drop a comment below. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.